when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. For to which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he saith, Let all the angels of God worship him. And of the angels, he saith, who makes his angels spirits and ministers of flame of fire. But unto the Son, he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even God, thy God, hath anointed thee with oil of gladness above thy fellows. And thou, Lord, in the beginning hast laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are, are the works of thine heads. hands. They shall perish, but thou remainest. They shall all wax old as a garment, and as a vesture shalt thou fold them up, and they shall see change. Thou art the same, the years shall not fail. But to which of the angels said he at any time, Sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies a footstool? Are they not all ministering spirits? sent forth the minister for them that shall be heirs of salvation. And he went on talk, talking about angels. And he quoted the scripture where Jesus said about the little children. Their angel is ever before the face of the fall. He said, you didn't lose your angel just because you grew up. By this time, I'm on my back underneath my mother's coffee table. I have an angel. What's his name? I don't know. Maybe I'll call him David. I, that's stupid. I, don't forget the angels. Don't forget the angels this year. Are they not all exceeding great and precious promise. It's the same God that was in the Garden of Eden, and it's the same devil that was there. Are they not all sent forth? I'm convinced all of my being, I'm totally convinced on the day of Pentecost, after Jesus raised from the dead, seated in majesty on high, it's no longer Jacob's ladder, the angels and all the, the Spirit of God and all came into this atmosphere. I'm convinced that's the exceeding great sound that they heard. It didn't say it was a rushing mighty wind. Now it can be, but it said it was the sound of a rushing mighty wind. And I think it was all over the world. I can't prove it. Well, you can't prove it either way. Or other. <laughs> but because of this, amen. amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Exceeding great and precious promise. That by these we are partakers. By these we are partakers. <laughs>